All righty, folks, it's been a week or so. We now have mortgage rates in the eights and uh, seemingly just keep going up. And then, of course, we've got Jamie Dimon talking about a 40% chance that the Fed will have to go meaningfully higher, potentially taking the Fed rate to 7%. Currently today, it's at, let's call it five and a half. So another 150 basis points. Dude, Dustin, what the heck's going on? How you doing? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing uh, great, man. R rates of rates seem to only go one direction this these days. Yeah, and uh, I've been telling clients for the last you know month, two months, three months, a year, like you got to lock it. There, there's no uh, you know really sort of reward. There's only really a risk, and that risk is obviously rates going up. I think uh, depending what publication you check, you know your average thirty year fix just for a primary residence right now is at seven seven. So you know a lot of people are landing low eights. Maybe some are still mid low sevens, but rates are very, very high to say the least right now. Yeah. And again, there's there. Uh, one of the things I think the fed did last week was they, they finally got wall street and more folks to realize that we might be here a while, right? There, there are plenty of folks that are now talking about a fed funds rate north of 5% at the end of 2024. So, and that's, I mean, like you nailed it, it's staying here higher for longer was, I think, the biggest thing from the Fed meeting. The the takeaway was that they want us to know that this is not like we're going up and then we're coming right back down. Yeah. They the, the, the infamous pivot, the pivot, pivot. Talking about that for what, a year and a half now, waiting for this pivot that everyone at least. Uh, yeah, exactly. Not coming. Uh, it is interesting, right? Because there, there, we are starting to see two camps form: uh, the soft landing camp versus the all hell break loose camp. Yeah. Right. The soft landing camp basically says, "Hey, uh, no recession. The economy is going to keep growing, but below trend. Inflation will slowly work its way down. And lastly, the Fed will not move in 2024. That's kind of the, the um, you know, the soft landing camp. And then the other one is like." Dude, consumer spending, student loans, you know, strikes, government shutdown, all hell's going to break loose and the Fed is going to be forced to pivot. And I say this uh, after reading an article from Wells Fargo's chief economist saying that he expects meaningful cuts in the first half of 2024. So what's just the average person supposed to do? I don't know. And it was interesting. I think um, last week when we got the Fed meeting and the, and the dot plot, I think more than 60% of the, the Fed uh, did believe that there would be maybe one or two rate cuts. You can fact check me on that. I'm not 100% yep. mm -hmm. sure. So the, the battle I think that's going on is kind of, you know, Wall Street still holding out versus what the Feds are trying to get their message across and holding sturdy that, look, what we say is what we mean, even though our history may not show that right now, what we're saying is yeah. what we're going to do in the future. There was one scary number that came out Thursday morning uh, that actually I think is a trend. I think the economic data is about to get pretty ugly because of the Fed funds rate increases, 500 basis points, variable and you know lags and all of that. And I don't know if you saw it yet because I know you've been cranking, but pending home sales down 7.1%. Rates matter. Rates matter. That's wild. Yeah. I mean, rate, rates are, and we've spoken about this too. And, you know, in the past, like there's a, there's a real estate market, obviously, you know, in the U S but I'm a firm believer that the, the real estate market, you know, starts by following what the lending market is doing, right? Like the lending market's going to be the first step in determining how well the housing market's doing. Cause I was speaking with, um, you know, just a couple buddies yesterday and talking about maybe you know, upgrading to a new home and he's got a two and a half percent. I'm like, doesn't make what sense. Are you doing 300 square feet so you can triple your mortgage payment. You know, I mean, yeah, do the that, say that again. Yeah, buddy, <laughs> you'll get a nicer home, newer home, an extra 250 square feet. Your payment will triple. What are you yeah. doing? Literally triple. So that, that that right there tells you it's it's not that um you know the affordability isn't the biggest issue you know, for, for homeowners, but it's also just the fact that, um, you know, if you're going to be in the market to 
buy a new home or or uh, trying to upgrade or something. It's trying to get the seller to also be like, okay, now I got to go find a new home. Exactly. Right? The sellers that don't want to sell. That, that's the biggest part of the equation when you do the, you know, seven what seven point one percent decline. Yeah. 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 The market's just broken. The Fed broke housing. Um, I think, you know, Redfin CEO Glenn, he thinks the, the bottom's four million transactions. I think he's wrong. I think we're gonna see three point eight, three point seven five. Uh we're going lower in September and October. Uh the good news is there is a floor. It's it's just a step or two down from here, I think. And you've been great at uh, predicting those, so I, I wouldn't be surprised if we were sub four either. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty ugly, dude. At the end of the day, rates matter. We're gonna be here for a while. Uh, it'll be interesting uh, to see where rates go in twenty twenty four. You know, we we can't be at eight percent. I don't think in twenty twenty four, but I guess we'll find out. Yeah, we we never know, but it's gonna be. <laughs> it'll be a fun ride if somebody wanted to reach out to you and see what's going on see what amazing programs you have how do they do that uh just go to our website convoyhomeloans.com mention you came from orat that way uh myself or jonathan can help out folks if you don't know jonathan and dustin are principals trust me when i say you want to work with them nobody else thanks buddy thank you